What's going on everyone, it's KT Pop here, coming at you all with a brand new video. There are a lot of underrated K-pop groups out there, and I really want to shine a light on some that I think deserve more attention. In this video, I'm going to talk about my top four underrated K-pop groups active right now. And for all you photo card enthusiasts out there, I will show my top photo card from each group. This is Yunggu from Aten. A-Turn debuted in January 2023 under MNH Entertainment. This timing was really great for A-Turn because 2022 really was kind of the year of girl groups. It seems to alternate year by year, one year girl groups and one year boy groups. Fresh off the bat, January 2023, A-Turn comes out with this fresh new song, fresh new idols, fresh sound, and it really was a really good time for them. The thing that actually really drew me to them, apart from their debut song being freaking incredible, was the fact that the idols just seemed like really fun and super, super sassy. And one of the sassiest members is Yunggu. You can kind of tell just from how he looks in this photo card that he is quite cheeky, mischievous. I think the facial expression really shows that, just the little smirk styling is a little bit out there. The short hair, dyed blue, very prominent makeup and like fun styling with this like spray painted jacket. All the content that I've seen of him, he's just really, really fun. He gets along with all the other members and just likes having a joke. I really love that for him. This photo card was from their second mini album, Uncharted Drift which came out, I think about halfway through 2023. The title track from Uncharted Drift was actually Excel, which was a really, really fun song and a good follow up. But I do want to recommend a B-side off that album called Walk It Out. Walk it out. Street style, a little bit hip hop, and I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than XL. So definitely check that one out. However, my number one recommendation for song for 8 Turn is actually their debut single from their album 8 Turn Rise called Tic Tac. As I mentioned, this was just a really fun, fresh song to start off the year. And this song, as well as The Seven, Get Loose. Those two songs on my playlist, back to back, I just listened to them nonstop all through January, February. Here we have Jiwoo from Card. Card debuted in July, 2017, which is actually quite a long time ago now that I think about it. So I've been a fan of them for many years. I was really lucky recently to see them in Melbourne twice within only a few months. They were absolutely incredible on stage as I expected and they looked absolutely amazing. We can see that here in this beautiful photo card. We have Jiwoo here. The styling of this is just incredible. Whatever they wear, they just look amazing and this is no exception. The hairstyle is probably the best that I've ever seen. This kind of blue, pink, sort of, I don't know, it even looks kind of tie-dye-ish, real transitions there. The makeup is incredible. She really likes to go with this heavy black eye look with so many fake eyelashes here. Very uh, low cut top here, which is always nice. I love a choker and then yeah, to tie off the look, this kind of tie-dye shirt to really match up with the hair. This is definitely my favorite card photo card that I've ever seen, to be honest, even ones that I don't own. Jiwoo is not actually my bias in card. My bias is Somin, but they did perform this really great song at the concert together called Fuck You. It's actually a B-side from their Icky album, which came out last year. I would definitely recommend pretty much every song on that album. All the B-sides are really, really great, especially look out for Cake and Fuck You and also the Guys Unit song as well. This photo card is actually from the fifth mini album, Ring the Alarm. You can see on the back here, it's kind of cute. It's got some handwritten notes on here, like different hashtags. Hashtag ring the alarm, hashtag rebirth, hashtag reunion, and then some other stuff um, that I can't read. The worst thing, you know, if I was pulling this from an album, I would know that it was her before I turned it over. But I wouldn't have been upset because I would have turned it around and seen this beauty. My number one recommendation for Card though is their 2019 single called Dumb Liddy. I actually cried when I saw them performing it in November last year. I think it was November. It's a very not emotional song. 
and I was just bawling my eyes out throughout. And ever since then, my friends have always made fun of me for crying throughout Dumb Liddy. I just think that Card are super unique being a mixed group. They've been around for a long time and they don't have nearly the amount of attention that they deserve. Their music is amazing, their choreo is amazing, they're really great idols, they are so much fun on stage. I just think they deserve to be like one of the biggest groups in the world and it's sad that they probably will never be. This is Jongin from DKZ. DKZ debuted in April 2019. Originally they were called Donkeys, but they did have like a rebranding and reorganization of members and now they're called DKZ. This member has been there from the beginning. He was in Donkeys from the start, from debut, and he is still in DKZ to this day. He is one of my favorite members because I just think he is probably one of the most talented in the group. He can rap, he can sing, he can dance and he's also very visually appealing, as you can see here. The first song that got me into DKZ was Lupin, which came out in 2020. This guy really shone in this choreography, because as I said, he is a very, very amazing dancer. This choreography had something special because it had these like, I don't know what you call them, but they're like those magi magician staves. They're like little and then you flick them and then they extend out into like a full stick. So the whole choreo was revolving around these props. And I always love a choreo that has fun props. It really made me excited about the group. This photo card was from a bit later in their career though. This was from their seventh single album, Chase, episode three. The title track of this was a song called Ahung. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's kind of like a sound. So yeah, that's what the song title was. In this era, he had this really bright orange hair, which I thought really suited him. This actually, I think is the best that he's ever looked. The orange hair and the makeup at this time was like quite simplistic, but I feel like he doesn't need a lot to really show his features. The orange shirt with the orange hair and then the background has like this pink color and the orange strip lights. It's very well composed and the colors, they contrast each other in a really nice way and it's very visually appealing. Jonghyun really shines in pretty much any song I think that he performs in. So much so that the company actually debuted him and another member called Mingyu in a subunit called Nine to Six. They released an album, I think it was last year, that had a song called Don't Call Me. And their concept is kind of like office workers, like nine to six and outside of office hours, like don't call me. And I thought the concept was just really fun. And the two of them, really vibed with, that, with each other really well. And they're just very talented idols. Their entertainment company seems to care about them quite a lot. Gives them a lot of outside activities to do outside of the group. More people should get into them and support them. Please check them out. This is Swan from Purple Kiss. Purple Kiss debuted in March 2021 under RBW Entertainment. RBW are one of my favorite entertainment companies because they have Purple Kiss, but as well as Purple Kiss, they have One Us and One We, which as you guys probably know, One Us is one of my favorite groups of all time. So I always say that I'm a big fan of RBW. Not gonna lie, one of the first things that attracted me to Purple Kiss was Swan. The reason I love her so much, she is one of the most talented vocalists in K-pop. She actually did recordings for other artists. So she would be on the demo tracks for songs. So the artist could listen to it, get an idea of how the song was supposed to sound and then do their recording from that. Aside from her vocals, she is obviously very, very beautiful. As we can see in this photo card here, this is my favorite photo card that I own of Swan. I think she looks very, very cute here. I really love the outfit, the fluoro green. Look at these nails. Like you can't say shit about these nails. What is even this nail design? All these different fluoro colors, really spiky. She's displaying them with this claw pose. She actually loves doing this claw pose. A few of her photo cards have this. Her makeup is very cute, just very like rosy cheeks, natural lip color there. Her hair always looks amazing. She always has it very long and quite curled in style. And the addition of these little ribbons in her hair to match the outfit, I think is just adorable. Aside from Swan, the other thing that I love about Purple Kiss is their choreography. 
I honestly think that their choreography is some of the best in girl groups in K-pop. My number one recommendation here will be Sweet Juice. Sweet Juice was a title track that came out in 2023. I actually learnt the choreography to Sweet Juice and a lot of their choreography has like horror aspects to it, which I find really, really fun. I also want to recommend a B-side track, Pretty Psycho, which was on the Emmy, Emmy, M album that came out in 2021. I've wanted to learn this choreography for so long, but I don't think anyone else really loves the track and the choreo as much as I do, so maybe I won't get a chance to, unfortunately. This photo card, however, came from the Hide and Seek album. I really like the back of this, actually. There's some really nice like little graphics on here and some writing from her, and look at her signature, it's so cute. <laughs> It looks like a little swan, a little head there and the S and the W, A. Oh, and the N is on the head. I just noticed that. The whole concept was quite like horror vibes, which I really liked. The title track of Hide and Seek is a song called Zombie. I'm actually currently learning the choreo for Zombie and it is so, so fun. I'm doing formations with my friends and I get to be a swan in the formations. So I'm very excited and maybe I can show you guys a little clip of it in a video later. Isn't this such a nice colorful array? <laughs> when I look at it, I'm like blue, pink, purple, orange, green. This actually just looks so nice. These are my top photo cards from my top four underrated groups that are currently active. So we have 810, Card, DKZ, and a Purple Kiss. I'd be really interested to know if you stan any of these underrated groups, so please let me know in the comments down below. Are there any groups that I've missed that you think are underrated groups that need more attention? If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye! It's still the consider liking and subscribing. I'm like, look. look. You know how I had all the like eyeliner in the first videos? When I watched it back, I'm like, it doesn't look nice on camera. Pew, 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 pew. So how do I introduce it? Like a superhero mask, but winged eyeliner. Because <laughs> then I feel like I'm just talking to the camera and it freaks me out.